Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. On The Flash Season 7, today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 17, aka the 150th episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so this episode was huge. We had Bart Allen, we had Nora, we had Jay Garrick, we had the real Godspeed finally getting revealed at the ending. There was so much. We need to break down and there were some big revelations in regards to Bart and him actually having a nemesis and also what caused him to have that nemesis and we'll get into all of that in today's video so I can't wait to talk about it. Let me know in the comments down below what did you think of this episode because I know everyone was super hyped for it and obviously this is the first part of the two part finale so next week is the final episode of the season until November when The Flash comes back for Season 8. Obviously, they're going to start filming sometime in the next few weeks for Season 8, so we're still going to have Flash content. And obviously, we're going to continue making videos, so please be sure to stick around for that. So subscribe and turn on notifications for that. However, let's go ahead and get into this. So Bart and Nora start off the episode. And so they're consistently arguing against each other, and it's quite clear that they are very different from each other, and that Nora is the kind of older sister in this relationship between the two of them as siblings. And so Bart is much younger, he's much more sort of goofy and out there, kind of like Nora was in the past. However, Nora has grown up, and it was actually confirmed in this episode, this is in fact not Nora, the one we knew. She is completely different, obviously like I said last review, this version of Nora has grown up with her dad, that was something that the old version of Nora never had, so obviously she's completely different and it's really nice to see them fully acknowledging that she's very different and she's a completely separate version of Nora. Okay, so at this point we have Bart and they're taking down Godspeed, so Nora is chasing after Godspeed at first and then Bart comes and he phases through Godspeed and I was like, what the hell? Like, this is cool. I was not expecting that. I don't know if you guys were, but that was a neat twist and it actually comes back later in the episode as his dad, Barry, takes that on and uses it against Godspeed later in order to save Bart. So I thought that was very fitting and very neat. And so they chase down this crazy Godspeed and he's constantly talking. So you can kind of tell this is real Godspeed. And so they chase him throughout time and he goes to the Flash Museum and runs on the cosmic treadmill from 2049 and he runs so fast that he goes back in time and Bart and Nora follow behind on the cosmic treadmill and that is how they got to the present day last episode. So that is a kind of little bit of an origin. You get to see a bit of 2049 like the outside. It's got some holograms and stuff and you see them actually chasing after the real Godspeed and this is just, you know, how they got to where they were. Okay, so at this point we get back to the end of last episode and we have Bart and Nora meeting the team. Iris is still not here at this point, however, at this point they get to interact with Chester. I thought it was very interesting when they did because they revealed that Chester is incredibly smart, the smartest person they know in the future even smarter than Cisco, which they obviously will know and do know Cisco. So it's clear that Chester has a very bright future ahead of him. And in classic Flash fashion, Nora and Bart are like, no, we should go back because like we're messing up the timeline because it's West Allen family rule number one, protect the timeline at all costs. However, Barry disagrees. And this comes off of last episode where he got the kind of pep talk from Diggle being like, no, you have to care about your family above the timeline. And so Barry decides that they can stay back in time and obviously they're very happy about this because they were expecting to be just sent straight away back home. So it's a nice twist for them at least because obviously it goes against like a lot of Barry's rules in terms of time travel. And so Nora at this point, like I said before, she confirms she is a completely different version of Nora. She's heard stories of that past Nora from Barry and Iris in the future, obviously. And so the Godspeed War continues and we have the Flash family as they lure them away from each other. Obviously you have Barry, Bart and Nora, they all go out together. However, the clones, they go after Bart and not Barry or Nora. And at this point, 
they refer to him as the adversary. And this sets up Bart's story for the rest of the episode. Because it turns out that Godspeed is in fact Bart Allen's arch nemesis in the future. He is Bart Allen's reverse slash. This was one of the big revelations in this episode and it kind of blew my mind because I was not expecting that at all. Obviously that's a big difference from the comics because Godspeed is the Flash's nemesis, like not Arch nemesis, obviously it's still Reverse Flash. But it was never Bart's nemesis, so I thought that was a really cool twist, unique to the TV show. And so what did Godspeed do to Bart? That is the big question here. And this isn't revealed until later, so we're gonna just wait to get to that big reveal as to what Godspeed did to Bart in the future that made them Nemesis is. So what do you guys think about that? That was a crazy twist. I was not expecting that one bit and I'm sure most of you guys weren't. Okay, so throughout this whole episode and I'm just going to combine this into one small section of this video. We have Chester working with Allegra. Allegra finally reveals that her cousin is dead and basically she isn't able to use her powers. She is tapping into the ultraviolet spectrum which is associated with like sadness or anger or something like that. And that's what obviously Ultraviolet used and that's why she isn't able to tap into her proper powers throughout this episode. And I think this was like the most insignificant part of the episode like with the other scenes in the last couple of episodes. I feel like it's just them trying to give Allegra a story because she's not a speedster or anything. So what is she going to do to take down Godspeed? Okay, so we go to Midway City, we have Kramer and Joe, but nothing really much happens in this episode with them, apart from how they end the episode with them in a traffic jam, and two Godspeeds duke it out on top of their car, fighting, and I was like, what the hell is going on? So, are they targeting Joe? I don't think so. However, in the trailer for next week's episode, which is obviously going to be one of my next videos, should come out tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. It does look like Godspeed is going to be going after Joe on that highway. So I'm curious to see how that actually goes down. But for now, Iris manifests herself back into the real world, and she's inside Gideon's room. Gideon has a little appearance here and there throughout this episode with Nora, and then also with Barry at this point. And so apparently Dion was able to stabilize her for a bit and so she's back. This just means that Candace was back on the set and they could actually properly incorporate her into all of the scenes and she's officially back with Team Flash and it's really nice to have her back because it's been a while, like three or four episodes since she has been like fully back. Obviously she came back last episode but that was for like a tiny bit and I'm pretty sure she filmed that before. However. It's great to see her back, but we get the big reveal that Jay Garrick is back, and man, do I love Jay Garrick. And now I'm going to talk about why I love him so much and why I think this episode was perfect for him, because they are making him a greater hero than he's ever been by giving him a greater legacy, by linking him to Bart Allen and what's going on with him. But anyway, let's go to the start. So Jay is back, his speed has powered up like a hundred times. He is there with his wife, with Joan, nice to see her back as well, and so they're in the lab and it's confirmed that he's on Earth Prime, he isn't on Earth 2 or anything anymore, but the Godspeeds suddenly attack him out of nowhere as he's ready to try and take them down by going to assist with Barry, however he never makes it. and. They want him, they grab him, and they take him hostage essentially. So over in Star Labs in a completely different tone, we have Bart and Nora as they mess around as kids. Bart is doing this kind of burping joke and I mean it's pretty funny, it's pretty goofy. But I feel bad for the actor for having to do that like Jordan Fisher. I feel like that must have been super embarrassing or it was either super fun on the set. I don't know. But anyway, so they're messing around, they meet Iris for the first time, they freak out. And obviously this sets up their relationship, although throughout this episode, Barry and Iris are very against Bart and Nora and whatever their plans are. Obviously their intentions are good and they're just scared for them because they are their kids after all. However, obviously it is quite restrictive on them because they're not used to having this much restraint. Okay, so yes, we have Dion, who is referenced by Bart and Nora in the scene. Apparently, they know Dion in the future, so I guess Dion plays a part of Team Flash's future somehow. 
Barry and Iris won't be letting Bart face off against Godspeed, and that is the kind of squabble of the episode between all of them, like I just mentioned. And so Bart is annoyed at Nora for not backing him up, and he goes to Barry's birth house, and this is where Bart reveals some huge things. He reveals that Wally and Bart taught him how to be a speedster and how to run in the future. So that's huge that Wally plays a part of Bart's life. That's great to see him back and actually included in this. But the big reveal here though, is in regards to Uncle Jay, aka Jay Garrick. And so Jay apparently taught Bart how to be a hero and to lay into his impulsiveness. And this caused them to have a great connection in the future. And I love that Jay was the one that actually taught Bart to be a proper hero and to be himself. I think that's just so perfect. And like I said before, I think this story is perfect for Jay because they're making us like him more and more and more because we care about the future. Like there is a legacy to come and it's gonna be a proper Flash family with him being known as Uncle Jay. I just love it. I think everything to do with that was amazing. And it's at this point it's revealed that Godspeed actually kills Uncle Jay in front of Bart. And that was the WTF moment that causes them to become nemesises because Bart Allen is never gonna stop until he stops Godspeed because he killed his favorite person in the entire world. And so that moment, that reveal was amazing. I think Jordan Fisher did an excellent job acting there. He really gave it his all. And I just really loved that scene. Okay, so back to the Speedster Godspeed War. We had the Flash versus Godspeed. The Godspeeds chase after Nora. We have like three of them or so. And Nora is knocked out by the Godspeeds as they get up and recharge after they try and take them down. And they do take them down just temporarily. However, they are almost undefeatable until Frost saves the day and they just get out of there in time. So again, this is a little bit repetitive. We have them going out, taking on the Godspeeds. The Godspeeds get out of their traps and, you know, they have to run away and come up with something different. Obviously, it's awesome to see, like, I really like these Godspeeds scenes. However, it has been done time and time again since we've been getting Godspeed. But nevertheless, the battery they use to stop Godspeed Apparently, because Barry powered it, he gave them a super dose of Speed Force Energy, and that's how they were allowed to get back up, because Barry basically powered them, and so they apparently need to use probably Allegra's energy if they want to use this device properly next episode. And then we lead on to Barry and Iris talking about how tragedy follows them everywhere, and apparently it all started with Thorn killing Barry's mum. And that is entirely true, everything loops back to that, and obviously we're going to get back to that at some point, like we've theorised many times. And so Barry realises that they have to stop Godspeed now, and Iris agrees, and this is so that in the future, Godspeed doesn't kill Jay, doesn't go after Bart, and so he doesn't have a nemesis like Reverse Flash. Obviously, this will have a big impact on the future timeline. Essentially, they are basically wiping out these current versions of their kids if they do stop him in the present day. So there could be some big ramifications about them actually stopping Godspeed. But let's move on. So Jay Garrick will die if they don't turn over Bart. And as soon as Bart is notified about where Godspeed's location potentially is, he goes straight there. Nora knows it's a trap, and so Barry and Nora run there just in the nick of time, and it's at that point that he sees Jay's helmet on the ground, and he sees all the Godspeeds, they manifest out of nowhere, and you see Jay there beaten up with them. However, at this point, we have Barry and Nora who run in to the church, and Bart is in the air, he's suspended in the air by the Godspeeds who are draining his speed, and so apparently it's his primal impulse and there's lots of impulse references in regards to his nature that killed him and is about to kill Barry. But then Barry does Bart's move and he actually saves Bart at this point, which was awesome. And this is at the point where Nora, Jay, Barry are all surrounded by the Godspeeds. And Jay says to Barry, I say we give them heck flash. And I was like, hell yes, give them hell. What a line. I love that line. I think it's so great that Jay said it. And I think this scene was like pinnacle of what was great about this episode. Because out of nowhere, Cisco turns up. Cisco is back. 
he blasts through the door and he saves the day and I lost my mind because that was a great scene. Okay, so Bart is knocked out, Team Flash talk about everything and Bart is pretty much gone until the end of the episode but you have Cisco reuniting with Team Flash it's awesome seeing back and it's great to see him reunite with Jay as well I think that is like one point like I think Jay was just so good in this episode maybe that's just me but this is where we go on to the ending scene we have Barry who is going into Godsby's consciousness with the help of Cecile and so as soon as he goes in you hear this ominous voice from Godsby going Flash and I was like, ooh, I got chills then. That kind of sounded like Zoom. And obviously the way that Jay Garrick was held by Godspeed was very reminiscent of how, you know, Henry Allen was grabbed by Zoom and killed in front of him. It was pretty much the same thing. So obviously they're taking a lot of notes from Zoom, who is actually my favorite villain. Obviously, I don't think it's as good as Zoom. I think Godspeed is great, but what makes it even better is the good species. The Flash family was awesome in this episode. But yeah, so inside Godspeed's consciousness, we have Godspeed's future sanctuary is revealed and he has like a speed throne, I would guess I would call it that, and it's really, really cool. However, you get to see the reveal of the real Godspeed, it's not that shocking because it is the same actor as Prime August Hart, whose mind we just went into. However, he's been waiting for him and now the time has come. So this is where we're gonna lead into next episode and I can't wait to see what happens next super excited about everything but for now thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to not miss those videos you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video also remember later today my superman lois review is coming out for the new episode also my trailer breakdown for the finale which is gonna be amazing the whole flash family is coming including Speed Force Nora, Speedster Iris, and a very, very special guest. So be on the lookout for that. That's going to be coming out later today. You're not going to want to miss any of that. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.